Hey guys, it's me Rahul. It is the beginning of a new year and there has been a lot of really great apps and games that came out last year. So this video is gonna be a yearly roundup of those apps that made my 2018 a lot better. So without further ado, these are my picks for the best Android apps of 2018. I'm gonna start things off with an app that literally made my life so easy. It is Google Task. I know what you guys are thinking, oh another boring roundup video with some boring apps. But for me this app is perfect for making quick lists and setting up reminders. It is not much different from Google Keep but I use both of them for different things. The UI of this app is the best that I have seen, it is an awesome app. Steamlink is another app that made a lot of headlines in 2018. Remote game streaming isn't as practical as I thought, but Steam Link is by far the best app for that. You can use Steam controller or any other controller or in case if you don't have any controller, you can even play with on-screen touch controls. But the problem that I had with this app is, it is not even close to an actual product that a known tech savvy person can use. It still has a lot of bugs and weird lag issues, but it is such a cool app to check out to see what the future of gaming will be like. Graphic design tools for mobile has always had these limitations and clunkiness. Sometimes an app might be too good in terms of features, but those features will be really hard to use on a small screen device. Canva, a very popular graphic design tool, now has an Android app. So how Canva works is, first you choose a template from thousands of designs, then you can edit it to add your own pictures, you can edit the text, you can change the image filters and so on. There is a lot of things that you can do with this app, you can also create your own designs from scratch too if you are wondering about that. It is kind of tradition to include my favorite wallpaper app in the yearly roundup video, so for this year I chose Paper Wallpapers. This app is the smoothest wallpaper that I have used, the UI just slides through stuff. The wallpapers in this app are great, they are categorized and they have special categories for popular and best picks. So you can find amazing wallpapers very quickly and overall a really awesome app and to be honest it is better than backdrops. Most of us are happy with the default music player app and in this day and age most people I know stream music so they don't really need an extra app just to listen to music offline. But if you need one, Stelio is the one to have. It has so many features that makes it totally worth to be that extra app on your phone. Stelio looks like an app that is made for iOS because the UI is sort of an iOS themed but I don't mind it, the app is very easy to use and has so many features. One of the best weather forecast app that I checked out recently is Overdrop. Like I said in my last video, there is nothing in this app that is outstanding but they have done everything right. The app feels perfect, the subtle animations and the minimal widgets makes it an amazing weather forecast app. 2018 has been the year of Pixel launches. Every single popular launcher on the Play Store has some kind of Pixel stock theme. Don't get me wrong, I love it. Uh, launcher is one of those launches that almost made me switch from Nova Launcher. But other than the neat themes and the animations, there aren't that many features as compared to Nova. But if you want a simple and fast and reliable launcher, this one is a good choice as well. Fluid Navigation Gestures is an amazing app that can replace your old style navigation bar with something that are new and fluid. Using this app, you will get this sort of fluid navigation gestures like the ones on the Android P. Even if you have never used anything like this, learning and getting used to this new gesture isn't hard at all. Within two days of using this app, I got used to it pretty quick. I don't know, it feels right, it feels smooth and it feels natural. It is free on the Google Play Store, so check it out. Xiaomi launched a new lightweight browser called Mint Browser. This browser is made for low to mid range phones, so the storage and memory consumption is very low compared to some other browsers. The UI is very similar to the UC browser, but it doesn't have uh, that annoying notification or ads in them, so that's good. I really like this browser, it is smooth and snappy and loads for pages without any problem. Last but certainly not least, minimal screen recorder. Whether you do gameplay videos on YouTube or just want to record something on your phone screen, a screen recorder is very handy. Most of the free ones on the Google Play Store have really annoying ads in them. Minimal Screen Recorder is an app that is minimal, no annoying ads and it is completely free. There aren't many features in this app but you can change the basics like frame rate, bit rate and the ability to change the resolution is coming very soon as well. 
So if you want a simple screen recorder, I highly recommend this one. So that's pretty much it guys. Hope you guys liked this video. If you did, give this video a big thumbs up and I'll talk to you guys in my next video.